Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Youth Council and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on his qualification for the Ironman World Championship which will be held in Hawaii in October 2018. Sheikh Nasser was able to qualify for the international event after winning first place in the Ironman Middle East Amateur Championship hosted by Bahrain from November the 23rd to the 25th. His Majesty King Hamad congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the achievement. That was the result of his great efforts, continuous training and good work in preparing for the World Championship. He stressed His Highness's remarkable role in promoting this sport in Bahrain as part of his efforts to boost the sports momentum in the kingdom. He hailed His Highness's achievements and success to set a well-deserved model for Bahraini youth as well as consolidate Bahrain's standing on the world map. The Royal Court has announced that the Sultan Ibrahim, the son of the Sultan and sovereign ruler of Johor in Malaysia, Sultan Iskandar, will arrive in the kingdom tomorrow upon an invitation from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, where they will hold talks on the bilateral relations and joint interest topics. The Royal Court welcomes the guest and his accompanying delegation, wishing them a pleasant stay in the kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Highness's qualification to the World Ironman Championship to be held in Hawaii in October 2018, after winning first place in the Ironman 70.3 Middle East Championship that was held in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the victory, which reflects the great efforts and hard work exerted by His Highness in his preparatory training for the international tournament. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also stressed the role played by His Highness Sheikh Nasser in establishing this tournament in Bahrain as part of his ongoing efforts to develop the sports scene in the kingdom. His Royal Highness also praised the performance of all those who participated in such an outstanding tournament wishing them success in their future endeavors. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and, Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on his qualification for the Ironman World Championship, which will be held in Hawaii in October 2008. 18. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed heartfelt congratulations to Sheikh Nasser on the occasion, lauding his determination throughout the competitions. He also praised the Bahraini youth to upholding the kingdom's image in various sports gatherings, stressing the professional work done to serve the youth and the sports momentum in Bahrain. He also wished Sheikh Nasser every success and more accomplishments in the next sporting events. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited today the Louvre Museum Abu Dhabi during a brief visit to the United Arab Emirates. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of preserving cultural and civilizational heritage that represents the foundations of a modern open society and contributes to development and progress. He praised the UAE's support for cultural development, highlighting the Louvre Abu Dhabi as a testament to the United Arab Emirates' commitment to encouraging dialogue between all cultures and people of the world. He also praised the depth of the relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, noting the extensive cooperation between the two countries across various areas. His Royal Highness expressed his pride in seeing the Louvre Abu Dhabi offering, which holds a clear link between Arab cultural heritage and the museum's unique architecture. He added that the museum's artifacts and art represent an important cross-section of global thought culture and expertise. The chairman of the Abu Dhabi Tourism and Culture Authority, His Excellency Mohammed Al Mubarak, and a number of officials from the Louvre Abu Dhabi accompanied His Royal Highness during the visit. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended today the 2017 Formula One Etihad Airways Abu Dhabi Grand Prix 
qualifying session at the Yas Marina circuit. His Royal Highness arrived in the United Arab Emirates this morning following an invitation from the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. During the qualifying session, His Royal Highness highlighted that the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix represents an exciting opportunity to celebrate the region's success in hosting prestigious sporting events. He added that such events offer significant benefits to the regional economy and stimulates growth across key economic sectors, particularly the tourism, sports and leisure sectors. He emphasized that Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates have become key features of the F1 calendar, noting that both countries have developed and showcased impeccable organizational skills over the years. His Royal Highness concluded by highlighting the deep-rooted ties that bind Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, stressing that ongoing collaboration directly supports mutual goals of development and prosperity for both nations. His Royal Highness also attended a lunch banquet hosted by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan in honor of regional and international leaders attending the 2017 Formula One Etihad Airways Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Upon arrival in the United Arab Emirates, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was received by the Chief of the Crown Prince Court, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Arab Emirates, Mohammed Al Maouda, and a number of senior officials. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, qualified to the Hawaii Triathlon, which will take place in October 2018, after winning first place in the Amateurs and Military Race in the Ironman Middle East Championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion, noting that His Majesty's support motivated him to make the biggest sports achievement in the kingdom. His Highness expressed pleasure with the achievement, highlighting the leadership's support. His Highness affirmed that the achievement was a result of His Highness's ambition and determination, noting the strong competition the race witnessed. His Highness expressed appreciation to all who supported him, thanking the championship's organizers. His Highness was cheered on by his children, Sheikh Shayma, Sheikh Hamad, and Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa who followed up on the race and received His Highness at the finish line. The race was attended by the President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation and Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, and the Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Askar.
A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 25,617,992 shares worth 3,883,386 Bahraini dinars conducted through 448 transactions. Investors traded in 21 companies, 9 witnessed the rise in shares, 7 fell, and the rest maintained their shares. The investment was the leading sector, and the services sector came in second. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, will patronize the bottom of the Barrel Technology Conference, BBTC MENA 2017, due to be held on Dece December 4th. The event is organized by Euro Petroleum Consultants and Babco in cooperation with the National Oil and Gas Authority. It is supported by a number of international oil companies in the Gulf and attended by a large number of experts. The minister expressed pride in the kingdom's choice to, to host the event for the second time thanks to its good reputation at the international level, citing the impressive results of the conference that was held in 2015. The Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry recently announced the opening of its first international office in Bahrain. Chairman of the BCCI Khalid al muayyad expressed pride for the selection of the kingdom by India and hailed the bilateral relations. He called for continuing to encourage investment of Indian companies in Bahrain, stressing the aspiration of the BCCI to enhance trade between the two countries.